Automakers have been building cars that reach a terrific speed, and we'll show them to you next. So pay attention because many of them haven't even been officially test-driven yet. We're going to show you the top 10 fastest cars in the world, beginning with the Aspark Owl. It's understandable if you're unfamiliar with Aspark and their one-of-a-kind hypercar, the Owl. However, the Japanese engineering company has been in development since 2014, and it seems that they will soon commence customer deliveries. The electric powertrain consists of four electric motors, one at each wheel, that collectively produce an incredible 2012 horsepower. This gives the car an incredible acceleration, capable of going from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 1.7 seconds. The Owl also has a top speed of 248 miles per hour, making it the 10th of the fastest cars in the world. The Owl's lightweight construction is also a key factor in its performance. The car's body is made entirely of carbon fiber, which keeps the weight down to just 1,870 pounds. This allows the Owl to accelerate and handle with incredible agility and precision. We've yet to see it run, but apparently around half of the 50 models to be built have been sold, at a price of around $2.9 million. However, it is very slow when compared to the Koenigsegg Regera. The fact that Koenigsegg appears three times in the video emphasizes its unwavering commitment to speed. The Regera model, which the company has dubbed a luxury megacar alternative to their typical extreme lightweight race-inspired road cars, was specifically designed for this purpose. The Regera's powertrain consists of a twin-turbocharged 5.0-liter V8 engine that produces 1,100 horsepower, combined with three electric motors that generate a total of 700 horsepower. This gives the car a total output of 1,500 horsepower. In addition to its powerful hybrid powertrain, the Regera features advanced aerodynamics, including active flaps and a movable rear wing that can adjust to provide additional downforce or reduce drag. The car's lightweight construction also contributes to its speed, with a carbon fiber monocoque chassis and body panels that keep the weight down to just 3,505 pounds. Impressive for a hybrid hypercar. Koenigsegg claims that the Regera holds a record for accelerating from 0 to 249 miles per hour, and then breaking back to zero in a remarkable 31.49 seconds. With a starting price of approximately $1.6 million, only 80 units of this impressive vehicle will be manufactured. However, the Koenigsegg Gamera outpaces it by a significant margin. Yes, another Koenigsegg, but this one is a bit different because it's the only proper four-seater in this list. Designed to be a comfortable daily-use GT car, it even has rear-seat infotainment to keep the kids happy that can achieve incredible speeds. The Gamera also has some mind-bending engineering under the skin. One of the key reasons the Gamera is so fast is its hybrid powertrain, which consists of a 2.0-liter three-cylinder engine that's capable of producing an incredible 600 horsepower, as well as three electric motors that add an additional 1,100 horsepower. The result is a total power output of 1,700 horsepower, making it one of the most powerful cars in the world. Despite its incredible power, the Gamera is also relatively lightweight, thanks to its advanced carbon fiber construction. The car's unique four-seater design also helps to distribute the weight evenly, allowing for better handling and agility. With all-wheel drive, the Gamera is claimed to hit 250 miles per hour, or 186 miles per hour on rear-wheel drive, electric power alone. 300 Gameras will be built, priced from around $1.7 million, although customer deliveries won't begin until 2023. However, in terms of speed, it falls far short of the Aston Martin Valkyrie. The Aston Martin Valkyrie has been a long time coming, as it was shown in concept form back in 2016. The first customer car was delivered in early 2022, showing the immense technical challenges the company has had to overcome. The Aston Martin Valkyrie is powered by a naturally aspirated 6.5-liter Cosworth V12 engine that produces up to 1,000 horsepower. The engine is coupled with an electric motor to produce a combined output of 1,160 horsepower. With a curb weight of around 1,130 kg, the Valkyrie produces more than 1 PS for every kilogram it weighs. This powerful engine allows the car to accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in under 2.5 seconds. Although its shapely body is designed primarily for downforce, Aston claims the track-focused AMR Pro version will manage over 250 miles per hour. The stripped-out cabin is inspired by Le Mans prototype race cars, although it's apparently capable of taking two adults. Priced at approximately $3 million each, 150 examples of the Aston Martin Valkyrie will be produced. However, it cannot keep up with the McLaren Speedtail speed. No McLaren is exactly dull to look at, but the limited-run Speedtail is a jaw-dropping piece of design. 
the fastest and most aerodynamically efficient McLaren to date, it's been shown to be able to hit 250 miles per hour. The McLaren Speedtail is powered by a hybrid powertrain that consists of a twin-turbocharged 4.0-liter V8 engine and an electric motor. The combined output is 1,055 horsepower. Although that's less than many cars in this video, the Speedtail is designed to be a hyper GT that's usable and comfortable in everyday driving. It's also half a ton lighter than a Bugatti Shiro, while McLaren says it has no interest in compromising the car's drivability to chase records. The Speedtail's design is focused on achieving maximum speed and efficiency with a centrally mounted driving position and innovative features such as retractable digital rear view cameras instead of traditional mirrors. That incredible long body and active aerodynamics are designed specifically to improve airflow. The Speedtail's futuristic interior also features a central driving position, just like the record-breaking McLaren F1 of the 1990s. However, the Remac Nevera is significantly faster than it. The Remac Nevera is out to disprove the theory that electric cars are only fast below a certain speed. The Croatian company, which owns a controlling stake in Bugatti alongside Porsche, promises its EV hypercar is capable of 258 miles per hour flat out, putting it right up there with the very fastest petrol-powered cars. The Remac Nevera is an all-electric hypercar with four electric motors, each powering one wheel. This advanced powertrain delivers a combined power output of 1,914 horsepower, allowing the car to accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 1.85 seconds and cover the quarter mile in 8.6 seconds. The Nevera has a sleek and aerodynamic design with a low front splitter, large rear diffuser, and an active rear wing that can adjust its angle to provide downforce or reduce drag. There's more technical innovation in the Nevera than just raw speed, with extremely clever torque vectoring and a chunky 120 kilowatt hours battery, which is claimed to give a range of 340 miles. It also has the most powerful regenerative braking of any EV, capable of up to 300 kilowatt hours of power. Priced from $2 million, 150 examples of the Nevera will be produced. However, in contrast to the SSC Tuatara, it is considerably slower. SSC is a name you may not have heard of, but the North American outfit held the Guinness World Record for the fastest production car for three years with the mid-2000s SSC Ultimate Aero. The SSC Tuatara is powered by a twin-turbocharged 5.9-liter V8 engine that produces an impressive 1,750 horsepower. SSC got into some controversy in 2020 by claiming a production car record at an incredible 316 miles per hour, but reported inconsistencies in the measurement of that speed meant it wasn't recognized widely. Not to be deterred, SSC had another crack with the Tuatara in early 2021, using specialist measuring gear monitored by engineers. The data they provided showed the Tuatara hit 286 miles per hour and averaged nearly 283 miles per hour on both runs, enough to smash the record held by Koenigsegg since 2017. Further attempts will be made as SSC wants to try and crack the 300 miles per hour barrier. The Washington-built Tuatara is said to cost around $1.2 million before taxes, with 100 examples planned to be made. However, when pitted against the Chiron Supersport 300 Plus, it appears very slow. No fastest cars video on the internet is complete without a Bugatti of some sort. The standard Shiro, like the Veyron before it, is a mind-blowing piece of engineering. But that doesn't mean it can't be better. The Supersport 300 Plus is powered by a quad-turbocharged 8.0-liter W16 engine that produces an impressive 1,578 horsepower. The Shiro Supersport 300 Plus is an extraordinary variant of the already remarkable Shiro Supersport, created in celebration of a modified Shiro groundbreaking achievement of exceeding 300 miles per hour. While the production car's top speed is electronically restricted to 273 miles per hour, Bugatti has purportedly authorized owners to install a roll cage and make their own high-speed attempts at the company's Aerolessian test track. The Supersport 300 Plus gets a longer aerodynamically optimized body and extensive weight-saving measures. 30 are being built, priced at $3.7 million each. However, its speed falls drastically behind that of the Hennessy Venom F5. Over the past three decades, Hennessy has modified an extensive range of vehicles, from Ferraris and pickup trucks to Dodge Vipers. However, the company has only ventured into full vehicle production twice thus far. Its first endeavor was the Lotus-based 2011 Venom GT, which boasted an impressive top speed of 270 miles per hour. Hennessy's most recent creation, the Venom F5, marks its second foray into complete vehicle manufacturing. 
the Hennessy Venom F5 is powered by a twin turbocharged 6.6 liter V8 engine that produces 1,817 horsepower. Yet it weighs about the same as a Ford Focus, so performance should be pretty unhinged. Similar to the Koenigsegg Jesko Absolute, Hennessy has yet to attempt a full top speed test, and its ranking in the list is only theoretical at this time. Nevertheless, the company is optimistic about reaching or surpassing a velocity of 311 miles per hour, which we have faith in, considering its ability to achieve 0 to 186 miles per hour in a mere 8.4 seconds. Hennessy will produce just 24 of these vehicles, which can be obtained for a pre-tax cost of $1.9 million. However, the Koenigsegg Jesko Absolute outperforms it in speed by a wide margin. The title of fastest ever car on sale comes with a significant caveat. The top speed of Koenigsegg's Jesko Absolute is presently theoretical, based solely on calculations. Despite this, the revered Swedish hypercar manufacturer is so assured of the vehicle's capabilities that it has committed to never producing a series production road car faster than this model. The Koenigsegg Jesko Absolute is powered by a twin turbocharged 5.0 liter V8 engine that produces up to 1,600 horsepower. This powerful engine allows the car to accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in under 2.5 seconds. The company's CEO characterizes it as a rocket ship on land that is steadfastly committed to achieving unprecedented speeds at a record-breaking pace. Just how fast will it go, you ask? Koenigsegg had set a target of 310 miles per hour for the Jesko Absolute, but the company's simulations predict that its super sleek, low drag body could push it even faster. However, a significant challenge will be procuring a tire capable of withstanding such speeds and locating an adequately long stretch of road to test it.